Hey gang, this is Jason with Hexes and Soldiers and h &S Games, and you're watching No Enemies Here. Decision Games, Vikings, Scourge of the North. This is a solitaire game in their mini game series. This game is designed by Joel Miranda, developed by Chris Cummins. The map art is by Joe Yost. The game contents one 11 by 17 inch map, 40 die cut counters, 18 campaign cards, and an eight-page rules booklet. GMT, Sekigahara, the unification of Japan. This is the fourth printing of a game designed by Matthew Calkins and the map and block art by Mark Mahaffey. The package artist, Roger B. McGowan. This is a game about the battle of Sekigahara fought in 1600 that unified the nation under the Tokugawa family for more than 250 years. The time scale is two weeks per turn. The map scale is point to point. Unit scale, one block equals 5,000 soldiers. And number of players, two. Complexity is low and solitaire suitability is even lower. What we get with this game is a mounted map, 119 wooden pieces, one and a half sticker sheets, 110 cards, rule book, and two player aids. Hitler's Reich, World War II in Europe. This is a game designed by Mark McLaughlin and Fred Schachter. Time scale, when both players' conflict card decks get shuffled, a year of play is complete. The map scale is land areas and sea zones, unit scale, Combat strengths are determined for each combat by card played and dice rolls. Number of players, one to two. What we get with this game is one 70 by 22 high quality mounted map, a deck of 54 playing cards, 56 Hitler's Reich events, 10 six sided dice, assorted wood pieces, two player aid sheets, one game setup card, and a playbook. Karl Paradzi's infamous No Retreat series continues with Polish and French fronts. The game stats, the time scale, two to four days, the map scale, 18 miles per hex, unit scale, division or core size units, number of players, two. Complexity is medium and solitaire suitability is low. The components, one 22 by 18 mountain two-sided map, one for France, the other for Poland, one sheet two-sided square units, one sheet two-sided round hex markers, a rule book, scenario book, five player aid cards, 80 event cards, and two six-sided dice. Dice. DVG, Pavlov's house, the Battle of Stalingrad. A game designed by David Thompson, Okay, firstly, who was Pavlov? Pavlov, he was a commander of a machine gun unit, an artillery man, and a commander of a reconnaissance unit with the rank of senior sergeant. This guy was a tough guy. This guy fought in Stalingrad, in the Ukraine, and the Belarusian fronts. Why is this guy so tough? I'll tell you why he's so tough. Because on September 27th, during the Battle of Stalingrad, Pavlov's platoon recaptured a four-story residential building seized by the German army. He defended that building from continuous attacks by the German army until he was relieved by advancing Soviet forces two, two months, months later. later. Zhukov, the commanding general of the Soviet forces in Stalingrad, 
later joked that the Germans lost more men trying to take Pavlov's house than they did taking Paris. That's why this guy's a tough guy. In Pavlov's house, you take control of the valiant defenders of the strong point. You also control the key leaders throughout the Soviet 67th Army that made the defense of Pavlov's house possible. This game, there's three modes of play. You can play solitaire, two-player cooperative, and competitive. The design and art is by David Thompson, published by DVG Games. It's a one to three player game. It plays 75 minutes, the complexity is moderate, and the game scale is operational and tactical. Okay, the components of the game, you get 61 Wehrmacht cards, 6 resupply cards, 30 tactic cards, 8 operational support cards, 35 Soviet cards, 34 Soviet counters, 7 weapon counters, 62 Wehrmacht counters, and 99 tokens, five dice, and three defense value tokens, plus a game board. Judd Vance and Bonding with Board Games. Judd reviews Revolution Games, Patton's Vanguard, The Battle for Araku. The designer is Michael Ranella, and the artist is Charles Keebler. The Chief is reviewing Quartermaster General, The Cold War by PSC and Ian Brody. That Gimpy Gamer is doing Gimpy's Game giveaways in July. He's giving away Herman Luckman's At Any Cost, The Battle of Mets, published by GMT. Gimpy is also taking a look at the Lock and Old Tactical 5.0 rulebook in its entirety, plus the Gravity Dice by Lock and Load Publishing. He also goes in depth with the Lock and Load Tactical rule set, including helicopters versus helicopter, night combat, night rules, shake and move, and artillery. He's also doing a review through of Pavlov's House, a battle for Stalingrad. A game published by DVG and designed by David Thompson. Gimpy's gal guesses Pavlov's house, the Battle of Stalingrad. This is a game designed by David Thompson. The artist is David Thompson and the publisher is Dan Versen Games, DVG. Mo of Mo's Game Table is taking a look at the Lock and Load Tactical Rule Set, version 5.0, he's giving you a rules preview. What's happening at the big board? I'll tell you what's happening at the big board. Kevin is checking out a game designed by Tai Bomba, and the artist is Anya Bizyalkovska, published by One Small Step. It's a game called 1938, What If? Check out Kevin checking out Turningsburg. The Soviet Attack on East Prussia, 1945. This is a game designed by Stefan Ekstrom. The artist is Joe Yaust, and it's published by Revolution Games. Kevin is also giving you an overview of Compass Games' CSS system. Bare Bones Wargaming is continuing his playthrough of Carrier, a game published in 1990 by Victory Games, designed by John Southard. The artist is Ned Schatzer, and this is a solitaire game. Tim also has a video out on musings on Pacific War, flat top, and being an aging gamer. And another video out on flat top solitaire rules idea. Jeff McAleer of the Gaming Gang, in his first look segment, he's taking a first look at Hitler's Reich, World War II in Europe, a game designed by Mark McLaughlin and Fred Schachter. The artist is 
Roger B. McGowan, published by GMT. Johannes Eppel of The Lonesome Gamer continues his series of Empires of the Middle Age, a game published in 1980 by Decision Games and Hobby Japan and SPI, designed by Anthony F. Buccini, Jim Dunnigan, and Redmond A. Simonson. If you guys want to check out some bolt action action, check out the itinerant hobbyist at Rocky's War Room. Enrico Viglino of Callendale fame is continuing his quest with Cataclysm, a Second World War game designed by William Tendoslavich and Scott Muldoon, published by GMT. Kyle Seeley is taking a look at the first scenario of Roads to Gettysburg 2, Lee Strikes North, a game published by Multiman Publishing, designed by Joseph M. Balkowski, Ed Beach, Mike Bellies, and Chris Withers. The artists are Nicholas Escoby and Charles Keebler. This game is part of the series of great campaigns of the American Civil War. Kyle is also doing an unboxing of Gallipoli 1915, Churchill's Greatest Gamble, a game designed by Jeffrey Phipps and published by GMT. Mo of Mo's Game Table is doing an unboxing of Bloody Mohawk from Lock and Load's publishing Battles on Demand line. Bloody Mohawk, the French and Indian Wars, designed by Bill Molino, the artist is Jose Ramon Faura, published by Lock and Load Publishing. And by the way, these battles, these happen around my area, in Quebec, Canada, North America, somewhere. Wayne Hansen has a couple of videos out on Armageddon War. Published by Flying Pig Games, designed by Greg Porter, the artists are Shane Logan, Guillaume Ries, and Zachary Smith. Wayne also does an unbagging of Vikings, Scourge of the North, a game by Decision Games. Wayne also does an unboxing of DVG's David Thompson's game, Pavlov's House. The War Game Reviewer is reviewing in Spanish and explaining the rules of Secret Weapons of the Third Reich. A game designed by Luca Camisa and published by Cuatro Dados. Ricardo Massini gives us his take on Zones of Control. And obviously, with a name such as Ricardo Massini, it will be in Italian. David Lent of Centurion's Review unboxes GMT Games Fort Sumter, The Secession Crisis, 1860 to 1861, a game designed by Mark Herman. The Player's Aid, Alexander, Grant, and Nat play a game. Sounds like a kindergarten book, but no. They're reviewing Triumph and Tragedy from GMT. A game designed by Craig Besank. I hope I pronounced your name right and it's not something like Besank you because it's French I, as far as I'm concerned and it's pronounced Besank. Sorry, Craig. Also, Alexander in episode two, turn number one of Fields of Fire, Learn to Play. A game designed by Ben Hull and published by GMT. The muscles behind wargaming. Rob Oren of Rob's Tabletop World checks out in his War and Pieces segment a World War I Deluxe Edition by Decision Games. This is a game designed by Jim Dunnigan and Joseph Miranda. The artists are Larry Hoffman, David McElhannon, Redmine Simonson and Joe Yost.
World Board Game Championship where you can compete with over 2,000 people will be taking place from July 21st to July 29th at Seven Springs Resort in Pennsylvania. Hexes and Soldiers, AJ Toynbee has episode 49.1. Thanks for watching, guys.